What's up everyone, Anthony Anderson here, co-founder of Elite Resource Team. In today's video, I wanna talk about going virtual. Globally, the entire world is going virtual. A lot of people have never worked from home for this extended period of time, or if you have, hang on, I might have a few good tips for you as well. So here's what we're gonna cover. Software, what type of software tools do you wanna make sure you have? What type of hardware tools, like wireless headphones? Uh, what things to avoid, what habits to avoid, and also definitely what things to implement in your new routines. So let's start off with the software. Right now I'm using a plugin for Chrome called Loom. It's free. You can record videos like this, me speaking directly into the camera, for free. You can share anything with your screen. You can share a video or not share a video. But what it allows you to do is share these types of videos with clients, with other partners, with team members. Obviously much more personal than emailing. So Loom is definitely something you want to get, L-O-O-M. The other thing is you need a good online conference tool. Personally, I think Zoom is probably the easiest to use. I know Loom, now Zoom, Z-O-O-M. There is a basic free version that you can use up to 100 participants, meaning you can have a call with 15 of your clients to address questions, or you can do one-on-one -on -one conferences with them as well. These are two very important tools to going virtual. Obviously, you also need a good online calendar system. You see my calendar right there. We use Google Calendar. Google is phenomenal. It's free. You got Google Drive, Google Calendar, Gmail, or Google Suites if you want to have a more professional email address. But Google is a really, really important tool. And when it comes to the calendar, you can use something like Calendry. This is an online calendar system that will sync with your Google Calendar, so all you need to do is email a client or a prospect a link to your calendar. They click on that link, it directly syncs with your calendar, and they'll schedule a call on your calendar. So it avoids the back and forth email of does this time and day work for you. All right, so those are all really good. Obviously, you need a good CRM. I'm gonna assume most people already have a CRM. We use Keep or Infusionsoft. In the past, we've also used Salesforce, Redtail, and obviously there's a number of other ones. Last thing I'll say is, if you are somebody who uses Facebook or YouTube, which you probably are because you're watching this video on one of those two platforms likely, there are tools to help you become much more efficient. Those are professional sites designed to pull you down the rabbit hole of distraction. So you can use a plugin for Google Chrome, which is the web browser I'm on, called Kill Newsfeed. And you see my newsfeed behind you there, it blocks all of the newsfeed. I don't need to know what Aunt Sally is doing for dinner in Tennessee tonight. All that does is distract me and take my, my time. And the same thing for YouTube. They have blockers on YouTube on Google Chrome that will actually block suggested videos. Again, you don't need to know what the coronavirus is doing for the push-up challenge in New York City. Like, you just don't need to know that stuff. All right, so that's software. Next, hardware. Really important to have some decent tools, right? I would strongly advise a good laptop, you can take it anywhere with you. Also, good headphones like this, these are Plantonics, uh, but key thing is you don't want wires. You don't want wires on your headphones, you don't want wires on your mouse, you don't want wires on your keyboard. If you don't have these types of little earbuds already, I think they're 300 bucks for the iPhone, and I know the Google Droid or whatever has them as well, best $300 you spend. These were the best thing that the iPhone has come up with since they came up with the iPhone. So get everything so it's super efficient. You don't want wires. You want everything to work very well, very dependable. Don't buy cheap stuff when it comes to work. The other thing I'll say on tools, since I brought up the iPhone, get the app Audible. I know it's not really a hardware, but you know when we're working from home, we've got a little bit of extra time. So when you're doing the dishes or cooking or whatever, be listening to audible.com. It's owned by Amazon. You can listen to probably millions of books. All right, so that's software, hardware, what to avoid, what new habits to avoid. You know, a lot of people you see on social media saying, I'm eating everything in the house. You got to avoid that. I know it's tempting now that we're home. You got to avoid junk food, avoid anything that's going to make your body crash, right? Avoid TV. Don't have the TV on when you're trying to work. It's just distracting. Your mind doesn't multitask. It jumps back and forth between tasks. So if you're having it jump back and forth between tasks, you're losing efficiency. You're using extra energy as well. So get the TV out of the office. Also, in the office, 
you want to make sure you put your home office somewhere where you enjoy being. And if you're already if you already have a home office, make sure you look around it. Like, do I have a nice little plant in here? Does it have good vibes? Or am I just sticking myself in like some broom closet or some back room that's got all these boxes and all this clutter all over the place? You want it to be a nice atmosphere that's not going to distract you, that's going to allow you to focus on being efficient and effective. So good vibes, clean space. Don't put it like, again, don't put it where you can hear a TV. Don't put it right next to the kitchen or don't work at your kitchen table if that's going to distract you with the cabinet right there. You know, find a space that's just there to work. What else would I say? Other things to avoid. I made a couple notes. Um, I think those are the key ones. Now let's talk about what to implement. This is hard. For me, I had a really good routine. I woke up, I went to the gym, I came home, I walked the dogs, I went to the office. I loved it. Gym's closed, office is closed. What do we do now? We gotta quickly find a new routine. It's amazing how many videos for free are on YouTube. So I've been finding 20 minute full body workout, right? And so every morning, now I have my little space, I've got my yoga mat set up. Go to that space and find the new routines that are working for you until we get through this thing. Um, what else? So exercise, oh, meditation. We implemented a, a policy in our office where anyone was free to meditate anytime in the conference room. They just shut the door and we knew that was what was going on. But now you're working from home, even better. If you don't meditate, I would strongly encourage you to start doing that three, four times a week, every day if you can. 10 to 15 minutes of a guided meditated meditation session. It's like stretching for your mind, right? It just slows down the way you're thinking and processing information, I promise you. Especially when like the media is crazy right now, social media is crazy, everybody's scared, there's this just overall feeling of anxiety. Meditating will calm you down. Also, time blocking. Let me show you my calendar here. You might be able to see it. Time blocking is a really effective way to make sure that you are now implementing new habits. So for example, if you wanted to make sure meditating happened, block it out in the calendar, same time, same day, and then put it on repeat. Or for example, right now, I'm studying a lot of the ways to develop our YouTube channel. So every day on my calendar, you'll see a time block, 2.45 to 4 p.m., studying YouTube, creating new content, recording videos, uploading videos. So that's the same thing that you want to try to do. Whatever it is that is your 12-month, 24-month goal, make sure you're time blocking for that. You block it in the calendar, and then you just put it on repeat. It's not as much about, oh, I spent six hours today doing this, but I didn't spend any time the rest of the week. It's much better to spend one hour a day, five days a week, and just repeat that. Because success is just a matter of the appropriate action over an extended period of time. Cool? So I hope that was helpful. If you got any new ideas from that, whether you're new to the working virtual world or you've had your home office set up for a while, if you've got any new ideas, please leave a comment below. Let me know what idea did you like, and also be sure to give that video a thumbs up. Also, every single Friday we release new videos just like this in our YouTube channel, so make sure to hit that little subscription button right down there to be notified every time we upload a new video. That's it for this week. Thanks so much, everyone. Enjoy the virtual life.